do I look? <laughs> I forgot how to do YouTube. Probably top 10 worst ideas I've had. All I have is KitchenAid scissors. Hi guys, it's been a little while. Today's video is gonna be kind of like a self-care day. I've actually tried to film this video probably four times since I've been back in Idaho. I have just not been doing well. But to quickly sum everything up, college is really hard for me right now. I feel like I just don't really know what I'm doing. I've changed my major three times since I've been in college. I'm currently undeclared. My classes also got really messed up for the semester because I missed the first few days of school this semester because I was in Chicago with some of my internet friends. I didn't know that college professors will just drop you from their classes if you don't show up the first week of school. So like I, I literally did the work and the teacher graded it and then she still dropped me. So I had to go through a whole process of like figuring out what other classes to take. Got an email and they were like, you're below credits, we're gonna take your scholarship away. Ah. So I just like panicked and had to figure out classes. But as of yesterday, all my classes are figured out. It only took two weeks, it's fine. I'm gonna head to a coffee shop right now and just work on some assignments. I feel like that's productive. I would do it in my dorm room, but that just seems terrible. My room is a mess and I just can't, I can't focus in an environment like that. But I also just don't wanna clean my room. So hopefully you see where I'm at. Yeah, life's just been hard recently. I'm sorry for the lack of YouTube videos. I have just like, every time I pick up the camera, I just seem to cry, which is, <laughs> that's like, that makes me seem so sad. I'm doing all right. I don't really know how long I'm gonna be there. I'm gonna get all of my assignments done. Like, like that's a lie because I have like five hours of math to do, I'm pretty sure. So I'm not gonna be there for five hours, but if you want a quick summary of what I've been doing since I've been back home, I cut my hair by myself in the bathroom. I bought a new laptop and I bought a new camera, dropped a couple classes, changed my major, doing good. Anyways, I think that's all I need to catch you up on for right now. Let's go to this coffee shop. Also, I thought I'd show my fit today. I have this sweater from Princess Polly. This skirt is also from Princess Polly. And I have these fleece line tights. They're from Amazon. And then my shoes, they're like these boots. Can you even see? Like, I don't know. Like, I literally, I can't tell if you can see or not. They're also from Princess Polly. I got a decent amount of work done. I was like actually about to rage in the middle of the coffee shop because their Wi-Fi is so unbelievably slow. Like I'll try to search something up and it just wouldn't load. So I left. I did not finish my homework. The actual like rage that was building up inside of me because nothing would load. I think I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble. I used to love reading when I was really little and I've tried to get back into it. Like I've bought multiple books and I've just never read them. But here's the thing. This lady's like actually staring at me. So I accidentally got myself into a Barnes and Noble membership when I was in New York. You're probably like, Liv, how do you accidentally get a Barnes & Noble membership? Listen. So I was checking out a Barnes & Noble. I was getting a notebook and the guy was like, do you want to get 10% off? Like, you just have to sign up for whatever. And I was like, 10%? Like, no, it's fine. So I was like, no, it's okay. Like, not today. And then he was like, well, you can actually get 20% off if, if you just like sign up. And I was like, oh, 20%? Like, all right, bet. Because this notebook was like $40 worth it though. I love that notebook. But I was like, 20%? Absolutely. Like, let me get the discount. So I give him all my information. And then he's like, oh yeah, by the way, that's like only an extra like $25, but you'll save so much money. And I like, I like sit there for a second. I'm like, what do you like? 25 extra dollars and he was like yeah for the membership and I just like didn't have the heart to say no but, like he didn't even tell me that it was extra money until he had already like put it into the system but I wasn't gonna be like no like never mind it's fine because then he would have to like redo the whole thing so I paid 25 extra dollars at this Barnes & Noble in New York now I have this fancy Barnes & Noble membership card that apparently gets me like a discount I doubt it's even a good discount it lasts for like a year but I think I'm gonna go to Barnes & Noble and maybe get a book might as well put this membership to use you know what I'm saying I got two books I've never heard of either of them, but they both caught my interest. I literally got like $5 off. I thought it was gonna be better than that, but you know what, it's fine. This one's called It's Always the Husband, and then this one's called Stranger in the Lake. I like mysteries and thrillers and like horror books. If it's not keeping me on edge, I probably will not be interested. So hopefully these are good. Like, bruh. I'm gonna go home and do laundry probably. I have a lot of laundry to do. Or I could avoid doing laundry 
and go to Target. Do I want to go walk around in Target? Like, not really. Honestly, this is what keeps happening whenever I film. I'll, like, go into a day thinking I'm going to be productive and, like, have a good self-care day. And then I get to this wall and I'm just like, I don't want to do anything but go lay in my bed. So I'm, like, stuck on what to do. Guys, I'm not doing well. Like, what do I do? I still have homework to go finish. Like, why would I, why would I want to do that? I don't want to do anything. I'm also kind of annoyed because I'm waiting for a package. I'm waiting for a package. Okay, shh. I got a case for my camera and it was delivered yesterday but people in the mail room won't send me an email because like we're not allowed to go get packages unless they send an email that they got your package which is like it's so annoying because I know it's there I know it's in that mail room they should just let me back there and look but I think I should go to Target I have a gift card so like I'm not technically spending money Target haul I got like room things I got this pillow the more that I look at it it's kind of ugly like the heart shaped kind of weird but I just thought this was kind of cute and then I just got two more things I got a candle and like a room spray thing I love when my room smells good it's raspberry and coconut it smells really good and then this room spray it's lavender and eucalyptus it's like a fancy bottle low-key This is probably like top 10 least favorite activities for me. I'm having so much fun. It's 6 p.m. I haven't gotten out of bed yet. I need to go grocery shopping really badly. I literally have no food. The grocery store is open until, bruh, it's open until midnight. My original plan for today was gonna be to get up at like 10 and go to, like finish my homework, but then I just kept sleeping. All right, so grocery store by midnight is the goal of the day. I'm gonna leave for the grocery store right now. I just got like completely ready for no reason. It's about to be seven o'clock. Thoughts on me doing a grocery store haul in the dark. Every time I film in a parking lot, there's always people next to me. I have an audience, but that's okay. These chips, so good. I finished the last bag that I got in literally a day. Truffle Parmesan mac and cheese, ricotta cheese and spinach ravioli, the ziti and meat sauce. I love pasta, all of these looked so good. I also got this thing of fruit. Going back to my roots, I miss the Lucky Charms. The strawberry honey bunches of oats. Last thing I got was just some sweet tea. I've been craving this so bad. I hope you enjoyed my grocery haul. It's so cold outside. So basically, I could not sleep at all last night. I just wasn't tired at all, which I don't. My sleep schedule's so messed up. I did get out of bed at 6 p.m. yesterday, but besides the point, I couldn't sleep. So at 6 a.m., I was in my bed and I was like, all right, I need to go do something productive because I don't want to just lay here. Anyways, I went to the sub, which is a student union building at my school and just did homework. And then I came home and I don't even remember what happened. I passed out for like two hours, but I've decided I need another impulsive decision in my life because that is just what keeps me running right now. I'm gonna drive to a tattoo shop. Yeah, I'm gonna go get a tattoo. Can I get a you like that there? Yeah. Dude, that was actually the quickest tattoo I've ever gotten in my life. It hurts. That went so quick. It burns right now. It honestly hurts more right now than it did when it was getting tattooed. My dad literally texted me in the middle of it and was like, what are you getting? My dad doesn't like tattoos. So I panicked a little bit. I told my brother, so I think Austin probably told them. Impulsive decision of the day is done. Beth takeover on Liv's new camera. I don't know what to say. Oh, Liv just got a new. Did you tell the fans already? Yeah, he let me it's vlog so in there. It's so cute. He, like, let me he did? Yeah. Should I give him a little room tour? That's my desk. Super clean. Those are my pictures. That's Claire's bed. It's my water bottle. <laughs> I can never be a vlogger. What's up? Oh, this thing's cool. Update. I'm not in focus. Beth. No, you, you can't tell the like, camera that. When do I not have to cut out something Dylan says? I just want to finish off this video by saying that I made a new Instagram. I feel like I needed a fresh start because 
I don't know. I just hated posting on my old Instagram. It was kind of scary. I had too many people on there. But if you want to follow it, it's just my same username, but with an extra A. I'm going to eventually change it back to my original username, but for now, that's what it is. Anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was chaotic to film, to say the least. But I'll be on the YouTube grind starting right now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, homies. Oh, one more thing, actually. I wanted to say this earlier in the video, and I just kept cutting it out because every time I said it, I feel like I sounded stupid. Quick reminder for everyone watching and for myself. It is definitely okay to take a few days to get your life together. Not everything has to happen in a day. Keep that in mind. Things take time. That's all. Okay.